Dr. Kerry Mullis was awarded the Nobel Prize for his invention of the polymers chain reaction, the PCR. The PCR is a method of analysis and wasn't designed to test for a virus. Mullis explains why. And with PCR, if you do it well, you can find almost anything in anybody. It starts making you believe in the sort of Buddhist notion that everything is contained in everything else, right? I mean, because if you can amplify one single molecule up to, a, to something that you can really measure, which PCR can do, then there's just very few molecules that you don't have at least one single one of them in your body, okay? So that could be thought of as a misuse of it just to, to claim that it's meaningful. The PCR test can potentially find anything you are looking for, depending on how high you turn it up. And this is exactly what has been done. The official protocol given for the PCR testing of COVID-19 created a floodgate of false positives to skew the results. They call it asymptomatic because it's a lie. These people don't have symptoms because they don't have COVID-19. They do it today because they've done it in the past and always gotten away with it. 30 years ago, Anthony Fauci, head of the NIH, made a name for himself by pushing for higher doses of the deadly drug AZT, an old cancer chemotherapy too dangerous for approval, onto AIDS patients. Kerry Mullis was hired to measure HIV in people's blood samples with his PCR. He was working under the premise that HIV was the probable cause of AIDS. But when he went looking for the proof, he found there was none. They just made it up. What is that paper? Who do I go to for that? And I looked around, I asked a couple of virologists at that company, and they said, no, you don't have to reference. I said, I have to reference that, because I, I don't know where that came from. How do I know that? And it turned out that nobody knew it. And I was getting really freaked about that. That's when I first started saying, they don't know. Nobody really knows. This whole thing is a big sham. Mullis pointed out how the CDC was losing money and how the HIV AIDS connection brought their profits back in the black and how the men at the highest levels were all in on it. Kerry Mullis knew these men were dangerous. They don't want people like me walking up and asking them those kind of questions. And they're willing to like go to great lengths to prevent that. They're out on a limb. I wouldn't want to be there with them. But he was still outspoken. When ABC's Nightline approached him about doing a documentary on his work, Mullis convinced them to cover the HIV debate after nearly a decade of ignoring it. In a 1994 interview with Celia Farber for Spin Magazine, Kerry Mullis expressed how he really wanted to expose Anthony Fauci and Robert Gallo. He said that he'd be willing to chase the little bastard from his car to his office, a Nobel Prize winner trying to ask a simple question from those who spent $22 billion and killed 100,000 people. It has to be on TV. I'm not unwilling to do something like that. Unfortunately, not many people were listening back then. And on August 7th, 2019, just about three months before the first utterance of COVID-19, Kerry Mullis, age 74, a Nobel Prize winner, inventor of the PCR test, a man who was once willing and eager to expose Anthony Fauci, quietly died of pneumonia. The timing of it all is mysterious to many of us.